You dressed appropriate. You're Absolutely. like the only person who dressed appropriately for well, the weekend. I, I'm from, what's up? I'm from North Carolina, so it's not this cold in North Carolina. No. I was going to say, you are, you are bundled up right yeah, now, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Those got thick gloves. You got the coat coming no up. Doubt. That. We're going to have to give you a new hat, by the way. Why is that? Because do, we do, have hats. Do we hats. have any more? Uh, oh, okay. I hope we have it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, we do. There we yeah, go. See? Oh, new hat. I'll tell, oh, I'll yeah, tell you what, put, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Put that on because I bet it's warmer than your hat. Absolutely. Well, it's not really that cold in here. Well, well he's, he's still been thawing out, man. Been worn no, no, already? brand new. Brand okay, new. Perfect. That's for you. Yeah, no lice. <laughs> no lice in no there. No lice. Would we do that to you? Right. I guess you don't know, right? Yeah. I wouldn't know. What's happening, man? How things going for you? Everything's well. I can't complain. Just here, just talking a little football. I was working with Sirius XM. Radio the last um, two days, mm-hmm. and I uh, was down in downtown early and finished up a show with Draft uh, with um, Sirius XM Fantasy Radio. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, so doing that, man, and uh, and then I'm I'm living in North Carolina, raising my kids and coaching a little bit of football and running the business, man. Hey. So you're down there, you're doing that, you're hosting Has it shows. Snowed there yet? This year? Yeah, we had we had one one little bit of snow, but maybe like an inch or two. Do people like suck at driving in the snow? Yes, it's like <laughs> shit shuts down in North Carolina when it with an inch of snow. Well, you got like no we're plows. not used to that. You gotta wait for the sun it, to come back out and melt. Yeah, it. It, and it did, and it happened pretty quickly. They li- they probably like literally close schools when there's an inch oh, of snow. Oh yeah, though, yeah. Right? My yeah, kids like love the, it. Nobody knows what to do. They don't know. Well, it's not that they don't know what to do. They're just they just don't want to do it. In a rush to do it. <laughs> um, but the kids love it, so they're out of school for for a period of time, and and they enjoy it. But you know, it's it's home. I, I, what I, that's one thing I do like about North Carolina. We we may get a little bit of snow, but not a lot. But it's it's a great place. It's, uh, the weather is always good, and then it's great people. Home now, or has it always been home? Yes, yeah, always North been Carolina? home. I'm a, I was born and raised in Gibsonville, North Carolina, which is a small town in North Carolina. Went to North Carolina State University, um, and then from there, I went to went to St. Louis and played some football. But I always kept a home in North Carolina, so I knew once I was done playing, I would be coming back home. So, can you still root for the Rams now that they're in LA? Yeah, that's my. I mean, I'm, it's your team. But yeah, it's. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it took me initially when they moved to LA. I was a little, I was bitter, and uh, just like everyone in St. Louis, just like everybody. And I, and and, and uh, but now I've I've gotten over that, and I've been out to LA several times, and the fans out in LA uh, treat me very well. Um, and when we would travel, when we was in St. Louis, and we would travel to Arizona, or when we would play the Chargers, anytime we were on the West Coast, we had a great deal of LA fans come to the games. So, uh, so it was, it was good to get back to LA and be able to resonate with the folks. How do you feel about this Super Bowl? Obviously, as a former member of the Rams, mm-hmm. I mean, we know like it's not like Rams fans and Rams players of a certain yeah. era are. You, you big were there fans when this the all Patriots. started. Yeah. yeah, man, I was. Yeah, we. Um, I, you know what? I'm looking forward to a good competitive. Super Bowl. I think I think Philly has all of the. Uh, they have a ton of talent on both sides of the ball. Then obviously the Patriots being this is their eighth Super Bowl, and uh, the continuity that they have from the management to some of the players on the roster, with Tommy being one of the long standing long standing players on the roster, uh, it's hard to root against the Patriots in terms of the big game because they've sure. been here so many times. The experience is there, uh, but I like the hard Eagles. to root against or pick against. Pick against. Yeah, I was going to say. Easy to root against. I was, was going to say probably. Against. Pick yeah. against. And, you know, I, I'm, I guess I'm just like any other any other fan, well, most fans, well, some fans I would say, wanting to wanting a new team to win. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I would like to see Philly, you know, do their deal. Uh, but I know you can never count out the Patriots. And you think about last year's game, you know, they, they were down 25 and they ended up coming back and scoring, yeah. what, 28, whatever straight points or whatever it right. was to win that game. Right. So you can never count them out. So, But I think it's going to be a really good competitive team. These are the two best teams in our league. Okay, so Dick Vermeil comes back after being out of coaching for ages. Yeah. John Gruden's doing the same thing right now. Can the game pass you by after 10 years, even if you're around it? But if you're not coaching, you have, like, one example ever that works. Now you have John Gruden trying yeah. it again. Joe Gibb came back and didn't really do much. Right. Can you do that? Like, it, how much has football changed in the last 10 years? Well, it's changed a ton. But I think John can come back. I think Gruden can come back and actually make a pretty smooth trend. Shouldn't say smooth, but a pretty good transition. You know, he's been he's he's, he's done ESPN for years, so he stays around the game. He's talked to a lot of these players that he's now coaching. Uh, now will be coaching in the back of a bus, it, right in the back of a bus. <laughs> and you know, he does his film study with the quarterback, yeah, so he's very familiar with and all coaches the quarterbacks. Meetings, coaches and- meetings. So I think he can resonate with these with these guys. Now John's ways of coaching is a little more stern than. Than, Maybe people than, are used than to what they're to, this group is used to. So I think that's going to take some getting used to. But I think one thing that guys want in the National Football League is consistency, and they want to be coached, and they want to feel like they're getting better every single day. And I think John will be able to get that out of the players. Cool. He'll be he'll be able to demand that 
He's a hell of a coach. I think he's going to put together a good coaching staff, and I think the players will feel like they're getting better every single day. What was your reaction when you saw that deal, though? Ten years, I was like, one hundred million dollars. I need to jump dollars. into coaching. I was like, I need to jump into coaching <laughs> for real. Like ten years like for a hundred mil for a dude that hasn't what? coached in however long. Yeah. And when he did, he would. I mean, he won. Right. He won a Super Bowl. But overall, was he a great coach? No, no, no. But you know, Al Davis. I mean, what was, what was, was Al's son? Can't had, think of his, Mark, Mark Davis. Mark Davis. Had, the the has, bowl cat. Yeah, he said he'd been chasing him has for a like. Crush. Yeah, he has a man crush on Groot. He said he'd been chas- chasing crush. him for like six, seven years. Which worked out really well when they had to start to question, uh, did they actually follow the Rooney Rule practices? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, right, mm, right, that right. was maybe a bad yeah, idea. That, for, for that, that, and then I think <laughs> they sent McKenzie out to, to, to interview a few, yeah. few minority coaches. And that was all optics. You know, we, right, we already knew what time yeah. it was. But um, but I was like, wow, 10 years, $100 million. Right. Um. That's that is a that's a lot, and they they're clearly investing their time and money into John Gruden, and they're going to give him the time to get that thing changed around. And I think he can. Uh, it'll just be interesting to see who they go out and get in free agency, and then who they bring into the draft. But he's got to get Derek Carr under control. Well, I should say under control, but get Derek get him, Carr. Get him throwing to, the ball down the field. Throwing the ball down the field, and then get Derek Carr to deliver his message to the squad. We gotta get you to sign the ball. Oh I yeah. I don't know why we're throwing it to me. We should be throwing it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Want to make sure we don't keep you too long. Mm-hmm. You can take your pick. Well, I, I appreciate guess y'all not. having me, man. I, guess I was going to say black you, or silver. You, you can't you, take you your can pick. You can have the, thi- the thick sharpie or the thin yeah, sharpie. Yeah, which, there's, right. there's not a whole lot of room right. left. There's not so. a lot of room left. Everybody's been on here, huh? Yeah. We got a, I, mean, I, I, I signed it like 20 Chris, times. Is that Chris Rose? That is Chris Rose. All right, Chris See Rose. That? Right on. Well, I'll, I'll find a spot on here somewhere. John, I, I, there I, we go. Right under the Super Bowl logo. How about that? There we go. But it's black. Well, we should give you, yeah, we should give you the sign silver over for that. the Super Bowl. No, nah, I don't want to do that because yeah. that's, that's such a nice There you unique. go. Hit right here. Here's hit one. right here's, here. Here's a spot. Here's a spot There you right go. Here. Yeah. See, still needs coaching. Yep. <laughs> and as, you, as you see, I take coaching very well. <laughs> you think about getting into coaching for real? Well, you, well, I coach high school football back in North Carolina. My son's a junior in high school, so I coach at Heritage High School, uh, which is in North Raleigh, and I coach the wide receivers, and I've been the – JV offensive coordinator the last two years. So is that like the biggest thrill ever for the kids on the high school team? Well, uh, you know what? I, I think it is. You know, The, the coach it, on my <laughs> high school team was like a local cop who didn't right, know anything right. about football. Right. I, I think it is. And I also help out with the NFL PA Collegiate Bowl, um, which is played out in Los Angeles. It's the, uh, the Nationals versus, the, uh, versus the, uh, it's the national team, which is coached by Mike Martz. So I've been doing that the last two years. So it's been fun. Coaching is fun. Uh, it's good to be back around the game. It's good to be around these young folks and be able to teach the game, which I love dearly. Sure. Uh, and it's good to be able to teach them the skills that they need to play well on the field, but also talk to them about things outside of the game that's going to keep them in pro football. Because it's, it's hard to get in, but it's even harder to remain in the game of football. Sure. It's very hard. It's a lot of things that go on uh, that these young kids, these young dudes need. Uh, to be talked about, and they need the skills in order to, su- to survive. Well, thank you for your time, Tori. Man, hey, yeah, b- man. Before we Absolutely. let you go. Oh, no, he's got more okay, questions. Well, I got, I got at least one more. Before I let you go, I got to know how many times a day you're asked about your finger. Oh, a ton of times. And I scare little kids all the time. <laughs> um, but people want to know what, what's up with the finger, Does, how did it happen. It doesn't just come out on Halloween, you mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they like When they see it, they just take off running. Can you um, hold it up? Can we get this on camera? Yeah, I was, I was, I was with um, – was, it was 2005. We was playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I'm blocking the Shea Townsend. Sure. And my finger gets caught in his jersey, and he, he, he rips away to go try to make a tackle. And my finger gets caught, caught in there, and it snapped. So I snapped it back in, ran off, got it taped up, and yeah. went back in and played. And then just over the course of time, it just kept dislocating, dislocating. And so now it's, it's like this. And it has no ligaments. So now it's just going to naturally just continue to just go, go over to your left. So I'll be, I'll be touching you here in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're be freaking me out. I was going to say at a certain point, it's just getting in the it way. Wor- it works. It works. You, know, <laughs> you, it's still you can still grab. I can still grab. Absolutely. That's all you need. That's all I need. Tori Holt, thanks for being on the show, Thank dude. Thank you, man. Thanks for having all me, guys. Right, thanks a lot. Yeah, all the best. You too. Peace. Peace.